Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well today. So I am going to be sharing with you my entire Rose Girls collection. I have fallen quickly in love with Rose Girls this year and I have quite a collection built up to share with you all. So before I get into that video, I want to tell you a little bit about the company. And before I tell you a little bit about the company, I wanted to let you guys know a little trick of mine on, on YouTube. Um, if you're like me and you love binge watching wax videos and hauls and all that good stuff, but they're like hours, not hours, but like super long and it's, you know, a little bit hard to sit in one spot and kind of like watch an, an hour long video or whatever. And I'm not sure how long this is going to be. There's a trick. So if you hit the three dots in the upper right hand corner of your YouTube like video, there's going to be a drop down that says um, playback speed. If you hit that, it gives you a few options. You can double the speed of the video or you can increase it by a few, you know, a little bit. And if you kind of play with that, you can just speed up the whole video so it won't be quite as tedious to sit through. So that is one of my tips. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, I will talk about the vendor Rose Girls. So I have like a little note written down with all of the things that I want to make sure I do mention. And there's a lot more that I, I might not even touch upon in this video, but if you go on to her website, um, which I'll tell you who her is in a second. But if you go onto the Rose Girls website, then there is an uh, F F and Q's, uh, FAQs page listed that has pretty much all of the questions that you could possibly ask on there answered for you. And some of these are gonna be like, just I wanted to make sure I took off, took some of these important things off of that website to share with you guys, because I think that they're important to know. Okay, so the owner of Rose Girls, her name is Jenny Oaks. They are based in Wisconsin, and I believe it's Oshkosh, Wisconsin. They do have a store where um, you can go in and like sniff the actual products like in person, which I think is pretty cool, but I'm pretty, I'm kind of far from Wisconsin. So sadly I can't go, but I'm very jealous of people that can. Um, their wax is a, Parasoy blend, so it's a mix of paraffin and soy blended together. Um, they have tons of different options for purchasing, and this is what I wanted to talk about a lot. A lot about is um, is their purchasing options. So Jenny, um, she she's very active on Facebook. So if you don't have Facebook, uh, then, I mean, I don't know if this is a good thing to do. I recommend just making up a Facebook page, just kind of like put a cartoon character as your picture if you want to, just like make it up, just so you can stay informed of the, uh, like the upcoming restocks, the um, pre-orders, ev everything that you could possibly need to know is usually put on her Facebook group, which is just like the Rose Girls Facebook page, Face group page. Um, I will link that in the bio here if you guys would like to check that out. I highly, highly recommend that because if you follow along on Instagram, you're only kind of getting half of the stuff. And if you're not on social media at all and you're kind of just purchasing whenever you see things are available, um, then you're, it's, you're, you're gonna be fine because there's always something available on the website, but you're not getting like the most bang for your buck, I think. Um, because you could be missing out on some like really good blends. Okay, so now I wanna touch upon the Rose Girls website. And what I love most about Rose Girls is that the website is always open. You can always shop it, no matter what time of day, night, whenever. There's always going to be something that's loaded onto the site for you to purchase. Um, most, most of the time, there are her mini melters available, which her mini melters, let me give you the correct details, they are six ounces of wax, and I actually have a bag here to show you, which I'll show you a ton in a second. But these are chopped up into small chunks, which are, um, you know, if you put it in the near the palm of my hand, this is about the size of the chunks, but it's eight ounces worth. Uh, you can cut these in half to use in your melters. I like to just kind of put one of these 
on its own in if I'm not blending my own kind of custom creations, which is another thing I'll have to talk to you guys about. Um, but yeah, so those are always available for the most part. And if there was a ready to ship that had like shapes or um, muffins or something that didn't completely sell out, then those can sometimes be found on her website available as well until they're sold out and then they're gone. But for the most part, Jenny likes, um, Jenny keeps her mini melters restocked consistently. So there's always going to be something for you to buy and purchase, which is what I love most. Jenny also does pre-orders. So when she does pre-orders, I could be wrong, but I believe that her, um, the mini melters on her site kind of close down for a little bit for the amount of time that she's offering the pre-order for, which can be like a day or two. Could be wrong on that. Um, I, it might all, you might also be able to, to buy it. I'll have to double check. De definitely double check that I could be wrong. Um, but she does offer pre-orders. So if you are afraid of um, something selling out or jumping out of your cart, if you're like me and you like to load things in your cart and like wait a day and think about it, um, but it's available for a pre-order, then definitely, you know, get her pre-orders. The pre-orders, of course, with like any wax vendor, they take a little bit longer um, to create and to ship to you. So you're not gonna have that wax delivered to you within a week or two like you would with a ready to ship, but that is common among all wax vendors. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that her pre-orders are usually like once a month or every other month and they are huge lists of just everything you can possibly think of. And if you're not on her Facebook page, I highly recommend like definitely adding just so you can see what's coming up, what people are loving, what you think, you know, you can expect to sell it quickly um, for like ready to ships and stuff like that. Another thing is for the most part, um, Rose Girls is not a Hunger Games style vendor, which is lovely, I think. Um, so even if there is a ready to ship and something sells out quickly, like for instance, there was a recent ready to ship that had Christmas Eve and Cookie Land available and that went within like probably a couple of minutes it sold out, then there's really no need to stress about that because Jenny sees it and she ended up putting Christmas Eve and Cookie Land and the other scents that sold out quickly in her pre-order the next like in a in that that weekend or like that next week so it's like it doesn't you never have to worry about something not coming back or sense being like super limited edition that is not a fear with rose girls which i love about that and so appreciate um so let me make sure i'm not okay so the other thing i want to touch on is her shipping so if you purchase her mini melters that are like the things that are commonly available on her site then she offers $8 shipping. Like no matter how heavy your box is, like $8 flat, flat rate shipping, unless you spend $100 and then you get free shipping, which I love. I, that makes me a happy girl because I typically am dropping like around 100, not each time, but like I, you know, I wait and then I buy 100, 100, 100 like. Um, so to get that free shipping, even though $8 is not even that much anyway, it is really nice to have that option. So you can use PayPal on the website, which is awesome. That's something that I think is an important thing to note. And um, I also wanna to talk to you guys about the actual um, warming process, the curing and all that stuff with Rose Girls. So when you get your, when you receive your Rose Girls, most of the time it is, um, you can just pop it in the warmer and it's good to go. However, if you try something out and it's a light throw, I highly suggest not melting anymore, putting it away, double bagging it, putting it away, letting it cure. I like to wait like sometimes a month, especially if it's a bakery. I find like bakery sometimes does better with a little extra cure time. Um, so if you put it away, let it cure for a month, pop it back out, chances are you will see a big difference and it will throw like a champ. So that's something, if you notice it's light, give it a little time and then try it again. Um, however, 
a lot of her scents are kind of just like ready to go. You can use it as soon as you get it kind of a thing. Personally, I've noticed that her clean um, or like tree scents or like the masculine type scents are extremely strong and don't really need cure time at all. Um, but if you like super, super strong scents, then you could always cure that. So it's, it's a matter of preference for sure. So for Rose Girls Wax, I prefer to use a hot plate warmer. There are tons of different melters you can use. I know, you know, you could use a halogen bulb warmer. Um, you could use hot plates, you could use tea lights, and it all really depends on preference. So if you want something that's not going to be super blow you out of the house, then maybe, you know, go for the halogen bulb warmer. If you want something that's got a little bit more strength, kind of middle ground, I suggest hot plate warmers. And if you want something that's going to like blow you out of the house, then I always say tea light warmers. Tea light warmers always give the strongest throw for any kind of wax, any vendor, period. It's just tea light warmers have the power to blow you out of the house. So that's just something too I wanted to note. When I'm melting my Rose Girls Mini Melter Cubes, I like to put two max in my dish um, just because I feel like that kind of gives it more of a kick right away and doesn't last quite as long. Um, I like it when my scent fills a room but doesn't hang around forever because I'm the kind of person, candle burning, wax melting, home fragrance, body fragrance, like I'll put on six different lotions in one day. Like I know for some people they'd be like, girl, what are you doing? But like I really, really like that variety of scent. Um, in my life. So, you know, if you use less cubes, it will burn hotter and faster, um, but then the scent will dissipate quicker. So that's another thing just to keep in mind. Okay, so I think that that is like the most of what I wanted to say. Um, I will say this too. So it's not just uh, mini melters that uh, Jenny offers. She occasionally does shapes and she does chunk muffins, which are these right here. And she does also offer chunk loaves and just chunk chunks. <laughs> so there's like a, a variety of different things. But the thing that you will most commonly see on the Rose Girls website stocked is her mini melters, which are mostly, those are my favorites just because of the convenience of them. So I will say this too, um, Jenny posted on her Facebook group a while back that her um, chunk muffins, which look like this, are actually supposed to be cut with a fork. So if you guys are familiar with vendor wax, you know that for the most part, you need to have a wax cutter, but supposedly for these you don't, and I've yet to try this. So I'm gonna try it with you guys firsthand on camera. She literally said you just stick a fork and you just push down on it and it kind of cuts itself. So we shall see, I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, oh, it did. Okay, so it cut it right in half. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I'm just gonna kind of poke it in here again. Oh, I dropped a little wax. It should not be doing this just over whatever. Oh, and it did, and it broke it off again. Okay, so I've got three chunks, and if it, I'm not gonna do it again, but if I did it again, that would be four. Um, so that, that theory is correct. Her chunk muffins, you can cut with a fork. Um, her wax is, relatively soft compared to some other vendors I've tried, um, but not overly soft. So in comparison, uh, if you've tried Teddy Bee's wax, that wax is the softest vendor wax I've ever tried. Um, this is harder than that, but still a little soft, easy, easy to cut as you can see. So, um, oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> okay. So that is all of the information that I wanted to share with you guys. If I remember something, I might add it into the end. But um, anyway, I'm going to, I film this after, so you guys will be seeing all of my goodies back there and they're all categorized. And I'm also quickly going to share with you guys my um, melter drawer that I have. And those are just a mix of some Rose Girls mini melters combined with some other vendor wax that is single scent oils that I like to use for blending my own custom creations. And that's it. All right, so let me just let you see what I've got.
So this is my blender drawer. This is actually my coffee table in my living room. I used to have this filled with my Bath and Body Works candles, but now that I'm working on a uh, project use it up for those candles, I'm kind of trying to not have quite as many candles available here. And I've also decided to do more custom blending on my own. So that is why I stuck all of these in a uh, easy to access kind of area instead of having them tucked away in my normal. What I normally do is I put everything in my cube organizers, but then sometimes it's hard to see. So I wanted to have a drawer where everything is just laid out very easy to see and easy to pull from. So that is what I created here. This is my, like I said, blender uh, drawer. Most of these are Rose Girls Mini Melters, and I do have them in somewhat of an organized fashion. On this side here, these are all of my fruity scents. Then I have, a, I think, a little bit of overflow fruity, but then most of the rest of these are what I like to call toppings. So there's like vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, um, different kind of things that can be added to blends. And then on the two left-hand side rows, those are all of my bakery blends. And I do have a few other vendors kind of put into this drawer as well. I just like to have as much variety of single oils to blend with as I can. And um, some of those are just like tree scents. I have some like Palo Santo and almond and maraschino cherries and stuff like that. So this is my blender drawer. So this is pretty wild to look at, um, really puts things into perspective, <laughs> but I figured that I would show you this before I go through everything. Um, this is my Rose Girls collection in its entirety right now, um, currently. So each of these rows is a different category. The first row closest to us, which I'll zoom in a little bit now, this first row here, is um, all of the Mario Mini Melters. The second row are all of the blends that she has created, the owner, Jenny. Um, the third row back that you see is all of the bakery Mini Melter, like kind of single fragrance oil scents that I have. The fourth one back is all of the fruity, um, not fruity, I'm sorry. All of the, I call them like my toppings. Uh, so like, um, things that you can add into blends, ice cream, whipped cream, those types of things, frostings. And then the fifth one back is all of my fruity. And the sixth one back, which is the smallest one, are all of my clean, fresh scents. I'm not, you guys know I'm more of a bakery person, so that is why I only have three, but some of those are like her must-haves. And then way back in that corner over there, I have all of my chunk muffins, which I have seven, or wait, no, sorry, nine chunk muffins. So um, yeah, that is all of them laid out. So I will go through all of these for you guys. I did go online. I went on to her Facebook group page. I went on to... Um, the website and I, I like searched high and low for every single description of all of these scents so I have exactly what the website or Facebook says about all of these scents so I can read those specifically for you guys instead of just hearing like what I think it smells like you'll know the actual description so we will jump right in all right so we are starting right now with the Mario mini melters row this first one here is Mario, sorry, Manic Mario Madness. This is a blend of Macintosh apples, blueberries, and vanilla ice cream. This is a sample that I received. Another sample that I have here is in Bodacious Bowser. Bodacious Bowser is Dunk My Donuts, Monster Cookie, Waffle Cone, and a Surprising Twist of Green Apple. And then the last Mario Mini Melter sample that I have is Starman's Sorry, yeah, Starman Starfruit Swizzle Stick. So that's kind of a mouthful. This one, to me, if you guys are familiar with the white mystery flavor Airheads, that is exactly what this smells like to me. And I definitely regret not picking more of these up. I mean, this is one that I got in my latest order. So these, this isn't even available anymore. But had I known, then I definitely would have bought this. The actual description of this... Um, I think our just like swizzle sticks are like a candy 
and star fruit is, you know, just a fruity kind of tropical-y scent. I have Ice Palace. Ice Palace is a snow powder and cool mint on a bed of tonka bean and creamy vanilla. This has got some really pretty icy colors on it. This next one here is Tenacious Toadette. Tenacious Toadette is sugar plum punch, cherry cola, and cotton candy frosting. And we also have Jumping on Clouds, which I love those colors. This is one of the first ones I got. Jumping on Clouds is cotton candy frosting, cup of cake, marshmallow smoothie, and vanilla crunch donuts. And for all of these Mario Mini Melters, some of these, if you guys are not familiar, some of these have things um, blends or like scent oil blends like uh, Dunk My Donut and um, I don't know like Monster Cookie. If you don't know what some of those notes are, those I have further on in like my single oil scents and I will read you the description of those. Koopa Troopa Assault. This is raspberry sauce which is a um, Rose Girls blend. Uh, pomegranate, sweet lemon confection and marshmallow smoothie. This one here is Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road notes are strawberry soda, blonde moment, which is a fragrance oil uh, containing raspberries, cranberries, iced champagne, um, and lime jello also is in Ra Rainbow Road. This one is really, really yummy. And this one is possibly one of my all time favorites. I absolutely love this one and regret not getting more of this one. This is Moo Moo, tra Moo Moo Track. It's birthday cake, banana cream pie, fresh picked strawberries, and marshmallow smoothie. A lot of vendors um, make like a banana split ice cream kind of scent, but this is by far the most authentic smelling banana split scent I've ever tried. It's amazing. And I love that it looks like a cow, like it's got like little black spots all over it, which I think is so cute. Choco Mountain, and Choco Mountain is a uh, customer creation blend from Josh Bales. This is hot cocoa mixed with cupcake, Dunk My Donuts, and vanilla ice cream. So this one to me is a little bit spicier than I particularly would want it to be, but it's okay. Um, and then this one is the one that everybody loves and me included it is amazing incredible this is definitely up there in my top favorite christmas eve in cookie land if you are not familiar with the scent notes it is eggnog royal sugar cookie monster cookie marshmallow smoothie and donut holes and this was another custo uh, customer creation from josh bales as well um, so i bet he feels really proud of himself for this because he should be this is amazing so moving on to the Rose Girls blends that are already pre-made blends. Um, these are not like single fragrance oils. This is kind of a mix that Jenny created. This first one here is Blackberry Rainbow Sherbet Lemonade. I love the colors on this. The next one that we have in this gorgeous tropical looking kind of color concoction is Three Little Birds. Three Little Birds is a combination of Caitlin's Congo line, which is a custom fruity blend to Rose Girls, and Strawberry Shortcake, Mangoes, and Rice Krispie Treats. This one is so, so good. This next one we have here in this yellow and pink, kind of reminds me of like a pink lemonade looking bag. This is Banana Split Funnel Cake. And banana split funnel cake really um, is not like, a, to my nose, is not a spicy funnel cake, but you definitely kind of get like a fried scent in this. This one here is in Taste the Rainbow. Taste the Rainbow notes are purple cow, which if you are not familiar with purple cow, purple cow is just like a um, grape popsicle with a vanilla cream um, like inside, like a vanilla ice cream inside. So think like a creamsicle, but grape. And um, this also has Satsuma, which is an orange scent, and also has Florida Key Lime Pie and Chicks Dig It, which I'm not sure what the Chicks Dig It scent oil is. I, I'm sure I looked it up before I purchased this, but this one really smells just like super, super fruity. Uh, okay, so this 
in my opinion, is one of the prettiest bags by far. I love the pastel colors and the layering that Jenny did on this one. This is It Was A Good Day. It Was A Good Day is a blend of Angel Fluff Salad, which Angel Fluff Salad is strawberry and vanilla. And this is also mixed with Summer Sorbet and Sicilian Lemon Cookies. And I definitely pick up that Sicilian Lemon Cookies for sure on this. It's definitely a lemony kind of scent to my nose. I also have a Caramel Cherry Coke Float. This one here is also very, very popular with a lot of the customers. And this is one of my all-time favorite scents. This is Carbs with Ghoul Friends. I absolutely love this. This is Jenny's Carbs scent mixed with a, like a pumpkin fluff puff, I believe. And it is so, so nice. It is an amazing um, fall bakery, very pumpkin-y. Um, it's not pumpkin spice pumpkin. It smells like actual pumpkins to me, but that, it is definitely spicy. I love, love, love this one. That one I could melt anytime. Another kind of Halloween fall themed blend is candy corn streusel kitchen, streusel kuchen, <laughs> whatever, um, and birthday cake. And this one is just exactly what it says. It's candy corn mixed with like streusel kuchen is her, um, it's definitely like a cinnamon sugar kind of spicy blend. Think like coffee cake and birthday cake. So this one definitely is a little bit like a spicy candy corn. And moving on to the winter kind of blends. This is Sicilian sugar plum cookies. Love, love, love this. I have quickly became like a big fan of sugar plum scents or plum scents and vendor wax and wax in general. I think plum is such an underrated scent. Um, and this one just smells exactly like what you would expect. It's lemony, it's plum. It's got like that deep dark with that zesty clean and it's such a good combination. This one here is eggnog graham crackers with cream cheese frosting. Um, this is kind of similar to Christmas Eve and Cookie Land, except for this is like its younger sister who's, you know, a little bit more toned down, but gives you the same, you know, same family. It's really nice. This one here is Spruce Willis. Now, this is one that it looks massive. But I have gotten multiple bags of this and like stuffed it in here. So that's why this one looks weird um, or like extra chunky. I love Spruce Willis. This is, I'm not usually, so I can't really burn Christmas tree scents out of season. I don't know, I could try, but something doesn't sit right with my nose about that. Um, but Spruce Willis is a explosive festive blend of blue spruce and flannel. And flannel to me is, uh, flannel is the Bath and Body Works type. And this is just, it smells like a manly lumberjack Christmas cabin. It's so, so nice. This is Christmas past. Christmas past is freshly cut Christmas trees. And then finally, I have a bag of O oh Christmas tree. And O oh Christmas tree is a mix of green pine, fir trees, and blue spruce trees. All right, so we are on to the bakery row. The first one I have here is sweet pumpkin pie. I did like a more like in-depth first sniff review when I received this in one of my boxes on my Instagram page. It's actually still up on one of like the IGTV video things. Um, sweet pumpkin pie, I couldn't find the description online, but to me, this one is, um, if you were to compare it to the pumpkin pie candle from Bath and Body Works, which is, you know, one that I could find that was similar. It is, this is far less crust heavy to me. This is very, very, very sweet, very creamy thing, like, almost whipped cream mixed in with that pumpkin pie filling. It's so, so, so sweet and creamy and rich and it's incredible. I love this one. Blackberry jam butter cookies. It's wicked smudge. I'm sorry. Um, this one is very popular with a lot of different vendors. Um, for good reason, this one smells super, super delicious. And to my nose, this one really kind of smells like a blue raspberry lollipop. I still have not really picked up too much on the cookie like bakery note the blueberry or blackberry really is the strongest thing in this one this one here is apple fritter this is a super popular one from rose girls Apple, apple, apple fritter 
reads warm apple fritter straight out of the oven and yeah that description is like right on the nose there's no other better better way to describe that than just like a straight up authentic apple fritter cinnamon roll cupcakes with vanilla frosting dunk my donut which dunk my donut is a sweet buttery glazed cinnamon donut and like i mentioned with that choco mountain scent that was a mario Min mini melter this one is that this is what gave that one that spicy scent this has definitely got some like cinnamon and nutmeg and spices kind of thing going on in here it's i don't know about nutmeg but it's spicy this is super um it smells like a cinnamon cinnamon donut so um Definitely, I guess, if you're not a cinnamon person, be warned before you just buy that, thinking it'll be like a donut, gooey donut kind of a thing. The good thing about um, Rose Girls is that she's got like so many different varieties of donut blends. So you can literally try them all and see what one's your favorite. She's got donut holes, which I'm hoping to try that one soon. It's like a powdered sugar donut and I love me some powdered sugar. Um, okay, so she also has vanilla crunch donuts, which is a buttery vanilla gooey batter and fresh dough. This one isn't super doughy to me. Honestly, this one smells a lot like if you guys have ever had, I think they're called sour cream donuts. Um, if you're familiar with those, like, you know what I mean? They've kind of got that like crunchy kind of topping on it. This is exact. These smell exactly like that to me, those sour cream donuts. And this one we have here is Opposite of Keto. This is a very popular one as well. Opposite of Keto is a blend of sugar, cook, sugar cookie dough, monster cookies, royal sugar cookies, waffle cone, pretzels, cream cheese frosting. So this one has a ton of different um, of her single scent oils blended into this one. And it's super delicious. If you want like tons of bakery goodness that is that's the one you should definitely pick up. This is carbs. Uh, carbs is described as a scrumptious scent containing all of the carb donut cookies and bread. And this one is so, so good. If, in my opinion, if you had to pick up opposite, opposite of keto or carbs, I would go carbs all the way. I just really, I love that one. I prefer that one. This one here is waffle cone and waffle cone just smells like a straight up vanilla sugar waffle cone. Nilla Noel is a blend of Nilla wafers. So like those little circular, you know, Nilla, <laughs> Nilla wafers um, mixed with vanilla B Noel. And this one is so, so, so nice. I absolutely love this one. And this one blended with like bananas and whipped cream would be like, uh, like a banana whipped cream, like a banana tort kind of a thing. And I, mm, like a, sorry, trifle, like a banana trifle. <laughs> Monster cookie is described as perfect cookie scent, brown sugar blended with sweet creamy butter and pure Madagascar vanilla. Sugar cookie dough is a warm sugary butter cookie as they are baking. That is what the website uh, reads. However, to my nose, this doesn't smell like it's baking at all. This just smells like straight up raw cookie dough. Um, it's amazing. I love this one. This one here is Cookie Land, and this is one that is definitely up in like my top, top, top five favorites. Uh, Cookie Land is confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch pretzels, and cookies. This one is amazing, amazing, amazing. And then finally for my bakery scents, I have Royal Sugar Cookie, and I feel like Royal Sugar Cookie is a staple must have blender scent if you love bakery. This is the description on the website. It says crisp, buttery, fresh out of the oven sugar cookies. And it does, it smells like a baked fresh, like still soft in the middle sugar cookie. It's incredible. All right guys, we are on to what I call my toppings category. This first one that we have here is Caitlin Scotcheroos. Caitlin Scotcheroos is a mix of butterscotch and marshmallow. I also have a whipped cream. This just smells like a classic whipped cream scent. It's fluffy and, you know, delicious. Another one here is vanilla ice cream. This is another one that I feel like is a staple for your, if you're doing your own custom blends at home. This one is so, so good. Um, for sure, I would pick up uh, sugar cookie royal and vanilla ice cream if you want just to uh, just to blend something amazing into whatever you're using like you cannot go wrong with these even different you know vendors I, I've done that if you want to like tone something down 
or give something a little bit more bakery. Those are salad ones to have. This one here is marshmallow smoothie. Marshmallow smoothie is a scrumptious melted marshmallow mixed with pure vanilla bean ice cream. And that one is another, I mean, all of these in my opinion are like staples, but that one's another amazing blender to have. This one here is ooey gooey caramel. Ooey gooey caramel is a rich, strong, creamy, ooey gooey caramel goodness. That's what the website says. We have a bag of cotton candy frosting. I love the colors on this. I think that that is just like absolutely what you think of when you think of cotton candy, you think of blue and pink. And cotton candy frosting description reads, rich creamy vanilla frosting with sugary crystals. The next one we have here is strawberry jam and the description on Rose Girl's website for strawberry jam just says sweet strawberry jam. Um, so I will say this, in my opinion, this a lot of vendor oils for strawberry scents kind of come across as chapsticky and kind of fake. This one is by far one of the most authentic strawberry scents I've ever smelled in vendor wax form ever um it's so 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 good and delicious and i know that this is one of like her top sellers so this one here is serial killer which i think is a hilarious name um serial killer description reads uplifting burst of tart fruit and cereal and this just smells like straight up cereal to me like almost like a blend of a few different cereals it's really really nice another cereal type scent is boo berry and if you guys are familiar with the cereal that's got like is it like a ghost like the little blue ghost on it it smells like blueberries this is that type of cereal scent it smells just like that blueberry cereal and then finally i have a bag of killer kool-aid killer kool-aid is a super fruity blend of black cherry watermelon and kool-aid so moving on to my fruit row here this first one that we have is honey vermont apple and Honey Vermont Apple, to my nose, is a kind of perfumey apple. Um, the description online reads, Bath & Body Works type, sweet apple, pear, nectarine, honey butter, vanilla sugar, coconut milk, and soft musk. And I think it must be that musk that makes this one kind of come across as more of like a perfumey scent. And I've, I've never tried Honey Vermont Apple from Bath & Body Works when it was at Bath & Body Works, so I'm not familiar with if it was body care or what if you guys know please let me know I'm really interested this next one here is green apple I do apologize for that weird glare that's going on I'm trying to film before it gets too dark but here in upstate New York it's dark all the time uh, green apple anyway green apple is sweet apple fragrance Macintosh madness is just a Macintosh apple scent in comparison to the green apple these both smell spot on to you know their names Macintosh is a lot sweeter and um, green apple is a lot more tart Green apple almost can pull slightly candy-ish, just um, for warning. I have a bag of black cherry, and it's interesting to me because I wasn't even, I didn't even know that the notes were anything other than just black cherry online. But when I looked it up, it said um, that this is actually a strong blend of tart raspberry sugar and sweet wild cherries, which is, I had no idea there was any raspberry in this. But to my nose, this smells like a super, super, like if, if authentic, smushed up black cherries. Like it's just uh, so juicy and super delicious. And this is also one of my top favorites. Pineapple is straight up out of this world, fresh pineapple. I have a bag of orange sherbet, which orange sherbet just says juicy, uh, juicy oranges fresh from the grove blended with a creamy sherbet and it really does smell like orange sherbet. And then finally for my fruit scents, I have a bag of plain pear, and I feel like this is one that I'm going to be loving and restocking. I've yet to melt this one, but I love this um, just on cold sniff. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I definitely like to double bag my scents just when I'm keeping them so close to each other in like my drawers and whatnot, so nothing blends into each other. And um, some of these that I have not double bagged yet are the more recent ones to me that I haven't tried. So I don't know if that gives you any, any idea of what I have and haven't tried. I've pretty much taken one piece or two pieces from like each of these bags, but I have so many to go through that. 
yeah, it's gonna take me a bit. <laughs> and finally on to my smallest category before I show you my chunk muffins. I have my fresh slash spa slash clean, whatever you wanna kind of describe these as. I wrote in my notes here, I have masculine, sensual kind of, <laughs> I don't know, I'm strange. So the first one that we have is a vanilla sandalwood. And vanilla sandalwood is actually one that I picked up because I learned that one of my favorite blends from a company that's no longer in business used that with a pine cone scent. It was vanilla sandalwood and pine cones. And I, I really, really need to find a single, like a vendor that has just pine cones in stock right now. Most of the places I've checked don't even have pine cones or don't have pine cones in stock. So I would love, love, love to find pine cones. If anybody knows of any vendors that have just a single fragrance oil of pine cones, let your girl know, she wants to know. Um, I wanna use it for that purpose mostly. I also have two of Jenny's most popular scents here um, for her fresh kind of more masculine scents. This is All Nighter. All Nighter is a blend of vetiver, cardamom, violet, sandalwood, cedar, nutmeg and amber so there are a lot of kind of masculine woodsy type of scents in this and i absolutely love this one i've only melted one chunk of this but it smells so so good and i cannot wait to melt more i also have a bag of morning sex and morning sex is a um, described as spa clean warm and fresh very sexy and masculine and this almost comes across slightly laundry to me. Um, I'm not gonna, oh, I, was, I was gonna try not to sniff any of these on camera, but this one I wanna make sure I'm giving you guys a better description. This one is a little bit soapy, a little bit, think like Irish spring soap um, mixed with like a men's kind of cologne type. So that is kind of what this one is. If I had to pick one of these two, I would definitely pick all nighter like that that one is beautiful beautiful i also would really like to try jenny's woolen blanket scent because i feel like that has a lot of similar notes that i love in this one these are my chunk muffins um i don't have a ton of these i really prefer okay so i love rose girls because of the fact that most of her things come pre-cut to like a perfect size to use in a melter. Um, there's nothing wrong with the chunk muffins. They are absolutely adorable. Like they are so stinking cute. It is clear to see that they look like little muffins and I'm tempted to eat them, but it's just a little bit easier. And my personal preference to just use the mini melter bags. I just think that those are a lot easier. So um, let me scroll down. And I haven't even really shown you guys this, but I will. I have a Google spreadsheet kind of created here. I have all of these super categorized. I have bakery, I have toppings, I have fruit, and I have masculine sensual, already blended, uh, Mario mini melters, and muffins. So that is kind of how I keep everything organized. I like to have this spreadsheet just for inventory purposes. And I also like to have this spreadsheet. So I know this is really weird, but when I'm bored, I like to look at what I have and I write down in my journal, like custom scents that I want to create. So I have some amazing scent ideas, not to like toot my own horn, but I'm pumped. I'm going to try to create a like a Dole Whip type scent with like vanilla ice cream, pineapple and whipped cream. And I'm like, I've got high hopes for that. So I will let you guys know how that comes out. Are you ready for some football? The description reads vanilla crunch donuts, apple cinnamon, clove, apple, citrus, peach, and raspberry. Lambo Leap is I believe like a Green Bay Packers, like a football term. Cider Lane mixed with sweater weather and vanilla bean noel. So all Bath and Body Works types blended together. This is Campfire Marshmallows, Saltwater Taffy and Cup of Cake. This one is her blend of opposite of keto mixed with jelly donut, black cherry pineapple upside down cake. We've got candy apple milkshake. This is banana French toast bear claws. I have a blueberry 
cake pop cheesecake, a pumpkin cream puffs and sugar cookie dough. And then finally, I have falling for you, which is actually going into my February melting basket because I feel like this one, the name is just so perfect. Even though it's, a, I think it came out in fall. I think falling for you is a cute Valentine's kind of a thing. Um, and this is blueberry cheesecake, cider donut, which is a Bath and Body Works type and dunk my donut. So this is kind of like a spicy donut-y cheesecake blueberry thing going on. It's really good. If you are not subscribed, but you're watching these videos and you like the content, then everything is pretty much like similar content. So I'd be really happy if you subscribed and followed along. And if you guys watch these videos and you don't comment, um, I just really like talking to people and I feel like I need this now more than ever because I'm like not going anywhere. I work from home, I'm not doing anything. So like, give me that, give me the conversations, bring them to me, I need them. So um, yeah, talk to me, talk to me about the weather in the comments, honestly, like I just like, I like to talk to people. So um, that's it, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, bye.